Hello and welcome back to more Lost in Vivo. Uh, last time we were playing around with seeing which corridor we could repeatedly go down before the game decided to give us the bird and kill us for being obnoxious. Have we played all these tapes? Or no? <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a cold. Oh, hello. I do not remember this. What is that? Oh, that's just a really big cockroach, okay. This seems vaguely familiar. Beds, more beds. Oh, hospital beds and red ghosts. Interesting. Normally they give you a privacy room if you're in a hospital bed. Thought I saw a ghost, that was just the light. Whatever you say, ghost. Whatever you say. Hey look, we can run. Hello again. I don't know how to let you out. I don't have, like, bolt cutters or anything for these bars. Sorry, buddy. Which way do we want to go? Well, it goes back to you. Well, this hospital's having some malfunctions. You know, on top of the lack of doors or adequate privacy. Are you haunting a body now? Kind of rude, isn't it? I don't know the rules of the spirit world, but that seems kind of rude. Also, you gotta love these conveniently human-sized uh, tubes you can walk through here. Up, oh, we can't climb up apparently. Apparently, this developer has never been to an actual playground slide because you can totally climb up any slide if you figure out how how to put your hands and feet right. Ow! Oh, hello, bodies. What is this? Attack on Titan? None of you are coming for me. The end of the tape, or is there somewhere to go in? I think this is the end of the tape. Well, that happened. Really? Do I not have key from somewhere? I thought I did have a key. Oh. Oh, I don't know, know what I not know what know what not do. Word good English me you think. This place should be empty, but the lights are on, and I hear something crawling around. Why keep the power on? Why? I can't fathom that this place even is. I've tried to map it out, but it doesn't make sense. Oh, maybe I need to go backwards, and then I'll find out that it doesn't make sense because backwards is no longer backwards ability. Or I took the correct path in this room to get to places. Do I have a mini-map? I do have a mini-map. So it does make sense if you map it out. That dude was a liar. Hello, camera. Well, at least we know the chains have physics here. Is that the way I came originally, or what? No, because I came through the weird... Freaky deaky stuff. 
So I can go down here, I can go try the other way. Rough diagram. Oh, let's go down here. I do like that on the ladder in here, it doesn't matter whether you're which direction you're facing, forward is up and backwards is down, so you don't need to worry about directional stuff for uh, climbing on a ladder or some of the other wonky things that show up in first person games. That's not you. Hey, get back here. How did you go through the fence? That's not fair. So is this just here to give me a way to dodge stuff or what? Take the side ropes. Maybe there's booby traps in the center and I'm just walking around them. Well, this is stuff. Hey, we can get to the mines now. Lock it, the doors are unlocked. Come on, we can totally squeeze through there. You're full of a game. Why is this one an exclamation mark if there's no way through? Huh. Oh, is there supposed to have been a way up at some point? Maybe that's what happened here. Maybe that was a ladder given a little circle hole on the bottom right of the map. Well, I guess we go back through here. And get ready to run. Oh, you are fast. Get back here, you little shit. Oh, he vanishes into the walls. Okay, well... Apparently he's just here to mimic the dog and harass me. There is no way into that side area, unless it magically opens up at some point, I guess. Hopefully he stays down there, because we're running all of shoddy ammo. Look down here, did we? Alright, alarm. Can't get through this way. Hey, look, another way to the surface that we can't use. Oh, good at you. Well, we can crouch. I wonder if we can sneak past it. So that opens up the saving area again. This door is finally open again. Alright, go down to where there are more of them. This is an excessively long ladder. somewhere up ahead. <laughs> D 
Did I just miss a ton with the shotgun, or was that a scripted thing? When I wasted all that ammo earlier. Well, your spooky audio is gone, so I'm going to assume I am safe-ish here. Oh, neat. Here's another room with the little hole icon. I'm not sure what that means. But at least now we know there is something over there. Does the enemy respawn with the room? Yes, it does. Lame. Three bullets makes him retreat. Alright. So that center door shouldn't exist, the one with the arrow, according to the map. This is the one with the arrow, correct? Yes. Oh no, it should. I see it now. The last door is questionable. Another one of the emblems. Hey, more rats. That's lovely. 924. I told everyone, but no, no one listens to me. I can't trust anyone. They're all just serving the monsters. No one is different. It's just me now. Why wouldn't they just listen? I don't know. Why are you writing all these thoughts down on a piece of paper instead of, I don't know, doing literally anything? Oh, that one's just straight up broken, okay. So we shoot you again. Also pretty sure we could have uh, easily kicked... What was that? Don't interrupt pretty well I'm narrating game. Pretty sure we could have kicked whatever that was or, you know, leaned off the ladder to shoot it. I guess the ghost really did find a body to possess or something. We should probably save after all that. going. That is a nostalgic sound, the dinner. This way. Again. Again with you. Wait, do I even need to go this way or do I need to go back to the other thingy? I have two emblems. I needed four, didn't I? I don't rightly recall. Was it back here that required the emblems? Yes, I do need a third emblem. Okay, and so that would be... I don't know if I've been down here either now. I'm very tired of my short-term memory this badly. Oh, I know. That way's blocked off. Even though there's supposedly something down and after there. This way we go into... So you hear the audio on the left. Well, that's just a downed lamp. 
here in this door. Maybe not. Very clever jerk. Oh, hello. I would have ran past that without the prompt there. 923, I thought I'd be safe down here. I'm so far away from those monsters up above, but even down here, I'm not alone. Is he talking about actual monsters, or is he like some hermit hiding from people? He just really hates people. That one's just straight up broken, which means there's nothing else in here for us except the monsters. <laughs> Apparently aiming down the sights is important. Who would have thunk? Zoomy testing. As with all great mega evil corporations doing research, who build your base underground and have it connected to the metro for some reason. Dr. Brundle, personal archive, number 86. Feeling good about today, thought I'd write it down on this Nizumi testing paper and leave it in this Nizumi testing facility. Progress continues at almost at an alarming rate, given how theoretical this all should be. Today we had one of the smaller rodents continue to move for almost two hours after all of its blood had been drained and replaced with mix PA22-12-15V. That's not a horrible sign at all. Give me a save room, I'm gonna use it. Good to see you too, PT baby, or whatever. Brundle, probably locked, even though I have a gun and a shotgun, I cannot for some reason open that. Also a sledgehammer. How could I not just beat this off with a sledgehammer? Come on, man. Broken. That's alright, there's hardly anything in there. You can see through the window. This one also has hardly anything. Oh wait, no, it's just four graphics. Which is understandable, this is a small game. Dr. Piccinini, personal archive number 65. Four more and it'd be nice. Shrieks and squeals are all I hear. My dreams are infested with these rats. If only they knew what, what we are going to make them into something beautiful. If they knew that and had the capacity to, they would respect me. But no, it's something but screams and wailing. It's nothing but screams and wailing. I can't sleep, I can hardly think. Even when I'm further away than the sound should possibly travel, I can still hear them. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to open. Oh, poor rats. Yeah, if you're gonna do tests, they do it humanely. Otherwise, the rats come back as zombies and bite your face off. Deservedly so. Why did that have a thing about sight and sound here? My guess is don't run, don't shoot. And there's a monster coming up, or that's just a generic lab notice to don't... Be obnoxious to everyone here. Dr. Piccinini. My dreams have found their savior. A dark creature swabbed in dirty robes now lives within them. They eat the rats and silence the screaming. Soon I will begin work. Not this filthy government's rat work, but my true work. I will give birth to my savior so they can silence everything. 
Do they not do like mandatory psychological testing or review the notes that you clearly leave all around on the lab floor? Or did people give up after reading the first 64 notes or whatever it is? Map. Oh, you were monsters. I should really aim before I shoot. So you're some kind of weird... I don't know what you are. But you are dead now, and that's all that really counts, isn't it? Dr. Brundle, Personal Archive, number 88. I'm beginning to question my fellow scientists' ethics. I'm beginning to quell my to question my fellow scientist is ethics. If we can truly call any of this science anymore, I fear we are all stumbling into something dark and with each breakthrough my fear grows. I don't know how they'll react when we see I do not know how they will react when we inevitably hit a dead end with these experiments. Almost like the water vanishes when you shine a light on it. That's interesting. No rats. No rats. Hey! Dullhead. As protagonists, we know what is and is not an important thing to pick up. Or what documents are relevant to plot. Once again, no sound. No bright lights. No loud noises. That's right. Oh, there's two of you! Dr. Brundle, Personal Archive, number 87. Today I question to the higher staff, just on how far they think we can go with these experiments. Dr. Piccinini took hold of me and brought me into one of the off-limits rooms and showed me something I don't fully understand. Maybe he was playing a, an elaborate and inappropriate prank. Piccinini told me it was his other pet project and assured me that the work we're doing is of great importance. Instead of reporting him for being a clear nut job and a danger to us all, I decided to go along with it because that's how the plot needed to advance. Dr. Piccinini, Personal Archive, number 67. Writing on the toilet because I'm bored. I showed Sotiris to Dr. Brundle today. He didn't know what to think, he just stared at it. Maybe he was just scared. Sotiris is moving now, but only barely. For some reason, I can't get him to function while the camera is on or while I'm looking at him, but he changes form between these moments. AKA, it's one of those SCP whatever number enemies where you shouldn't look at it or it will do something bad. Normally kill you, in this case, who knows what. Where are we on, la on map? So we came in from that room. We didn't fully explore that room. Sign about rats, sign about danger. I right, we fully explored this room then. <laughs> So, big lab, monsters. We'll keep the flashlight off for the moment. Dr. Brundle, personal archive number 89. We've done it. I have to get out of here as soon as I can. These are not creations that should exist. I don't know if we screwed something up along the way or this was the only possible outcome, but man, I wish we had one of those self-destruct buttons right, right about now. Oh. That was fun. Hey, was that there before? I don't know. Dr. Piccinini, Personal Archive, number 68. One more to go and I'll hit the cool number. My dear savior is growing every day. I started stealing some of the rats from their tiny safe cages and put them in the hole with Sotiris. At first, I wasn't sure if they would do anything, but once I left and came back, the rats were gone. The only traces of the rats left was a lipstick smear of blood on Sotiris's jaw. 
Right, so who here is Sotiris? Sotiris? That looks kind of like a face from that angle. That looks like it's covering its head. That looks like it's covering its head. Huh. Probably go save soon. Oh, you have your eyes uncovered. I really should have explored that room last, I guess. Oh well. That's what saved before. If anything goes bad, we just go there last. Hey, I lost tape number three. We can go back, find a tape player, and do something with this. Dr. GLA, Research Archive number 120. Subject Class 3 was originally found in the wreckage of a collapsed farmhouse by a mountain survey team. It was later brought to the government attention after most of the crew went missing and then granted out to our lab for testing. It appears like a normal cassette tape, but has some major differences. Spectrogram displays of the audio contained do not seem to match the structure or waveform of the actual sound, but rather several images of American animal life and trees. Some researchers who spent significant time listening to to the subject have been hospitalized for mental reasons, often becoming obsessed with a fictional being known as Beogototh. Well, that explains a lot there. What's, what is it's open and what's broken? Oh, the painting is broken or something, I guess. It looks kind of like leaves or something. I don't know. Go back again. Right, such hammer time. Whoa, that's new. Such hammer works wonders, though. Oh, is this what? Oh, I need someone's eyeball to get in there. Okay. For, unless there's just a whole ton of them in the hallway. Oh, hello, rats. The eyes have been eaten. Of course they have. What was that? Game, if you're going to show me something, you need it on screen for more than half a second. I can't tell where that was. Uh, Unity Engine has a bug, apparently. Dr. Brundle, Personal Archive, number 90. I can't get out of here. The halls are full of them. They are worshipping Pacini's messed up pet. They swarm around just like the rats. I'm wondering if that's a bug or if that's like a secret to go read something. Oh, the people are swarming around just like the rats. I gotcha. Huh. Where am I gonna get an eyeball? Missing item info? Eyelessbody.fbx picked up. Okay, I don't know if that's like a genuine bug, a joke, or what. But, okay game. Lag the hell out when I do this. What do I do with the dead body anyway? I'm pretty sure I went to all the rooms and there's nothing I can do with body here. Alright, and dead body in hand, we're going to call that an episode. Uh, yeah, eyelessbody.fbx, debug.log, descriptor missing. So we have someone's body now. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.